I'm Sydney, and we have a few announcements for you. The sailing team is inviting students to participate in the dinghy dash this Saturday at Dana Point Harbor. Students of five students will build a boat from cardboard and compete in a race in the harbor. There will be music, food, awards, and a local news coverage. See a sailing team member for more information on how to create a team. And good luck to our girls basketball team as they move on to the second round of CIF state championships away against Harvard Westlake. Let's take home the win, girls. Well said. We haven't had a virtue draw by Sister Miriam in a while, so let's see who the winners are this time. Roll it. Hi everyone, we know it's been ages since our last Virtue Draw, but good news for you, Lent is going to bring many Virtue Draws, so let's get the Virtue in action, and today I have Mr. Justman with us. Hello everyone. We're going to be doing a draw of four names today, want to start us off? We have JJ Philo from Sister for the Virtue of Courtesy. Alright, next. Rigby Snap from me for the Virtue of Studiousness. Alrighty. Catherine Nowak from Sister Renee Noel for Industriousness. Okay. Last one. And finally, Julia Harkins from Sister Miriam for Charity. All right. Congrats to our winners. Let's get more Virtue cards in the box. Thanks, Sister. And next up, our own Lisi ventured out to ask Jay Sarah what was the last song that they listened to on their phones. Take it away, Lisi. Today we're going to be asking J. Sarah students what's the last song that they listen to. Let's see what they have to say. What's the last song that you guys listen to? Love song by Rihanna. The last song that I listen to is Main by Noah Khan. What's the last song that you listen to? Oklahoma Smoke Show by Zach Bryan. She's an Oklahoma Smoke Show. What's the last song that you listen to? Awaken My Soul by Phil Wickham. What's the last song that you listen to? I listen to The View in Between Villages by Noah Khan. What's the last song that you listen to? The Trolls song. What's the last song you listen to on your phone? Heartache on the Dance Floor by John Party. What's the last song you listen to on your phone? Uh, Friday, I'm in Love by The Cure. What's the last song that you listen to? Uh, Tennessee Whiskey. Tennessee Whiskey. What's the last song you listen to? Things by Steve Lacey. I heart Maddie Zeller. Thanks, Lisi. So, Sid, what have you chose to give up for the season of Lent? Well, I gave up chocolate, and I'm struggling a little bit. How about you? I gave up soda, and I heard that Tegan headed out to find out what others are giving up as well. Let's take a look. What are you giving up for Lent? Chocolate. What are you giving up for Lent? I'm giving up chocolate. What are you giving up for Lent? I'm going to give up dessert. What are you giving up for Lent? Um, chocolate. What are you giving up for Lent? Um, I'm going to give up being mean to my parents. What are you giving up for Lent? Arguing with my parents. What are you giving up for Lent? Uh, I'm giving up spending money in the bistro. What's the question? What are you giving up for Lent? I'm giving up donuts and caffeine. <laughs> what are you giving up for Lent? Grandchildren. <laughs> no, that's a joke. Erase it. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to give up anything. I'm going to add something to my repertoire. Like I want to go to Mass every morning during Lent. What are you giving up for Lent? Less time on my phone. Uh, what are you giving up for Lent? Well, I think what I'm going to do is not so much give up, but make certain that I that I that my prayer life is more regular and that I spend more time with Jesus. What are you giving up for Lent? Soda. What are you giving up for Lent? Um, my procrastination on my homework, so. What are you giving up for Lent? Um, I don't know about giving up. I'm probably going to take cold showers every day, challenge myself. Tegan, and finally, let's send it over to Maya with another episode of Strolling with Stroop. Roll it. Half 
often do you use your gua sha? I gua sha every morning as part of my yoga routine. Oh yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, do you know what uh, gua sha is, Dad? Yeah, it's a type of uh, movement, like real slow where you practice moves to get kind of focused on the day. <laughs> no, that's not what it is. Dad, do you mew? Do I mew? Yeah. I have no earthly idea what that means. Well, matcha should not be part of anyone's diet. Aloe the gel? No. What's aloe? It's a brand. Ah, do you prefer yoga or Pilates? <laughs> None of the above. <laughs> What's your favorite shoe brand? Hoka, come on. How many pairs of Hokas do you have? Two. I don't know why any guy would have more than two pairs of tennis shoes. So dad, walk us through your skincare routine. <laughs> Axe body wash. What about your hair? Uh, head and shoulders. Rinse, that's it? Done, yes. You're not gonna specify if that's shampoo or conditioner? It's, it's one of those combined deals. You don't know? No. <laughs> Do you know the difference? Between shampoo and conditioner? Yeah. Uh, maintaining my pale complexion, that takes work. I love it when Maya gives us a glance into the life of our principal. Me too. Well, that's all we have for you today, Lions. Have a great rest of your Thursday.